Next up is a way to engage children using technology. My name is Dayu, and I'm a technologist. My name is Chris, and I'm a toy maker. My name is William, and I'm an educator. Together, we're the founders of Pillar Learning, the, the creators, creators of Cody. Cody. And we're asking for $500,000 for a 10% of our company. Like most parents, I'm concerned about too much screen time. But it was so hard to keep my two-year-old daughter entertained with anything else. It's crucial for a child to be exposed to great content, especially content that supports social and emotional learning. Social robots have shown to be more engaging for children, and they avoid all the negatives of a screen. That's why we created Cody, a fun and educational storytelling robot built on modern smart home technology. Cody is engaging, beneficial, and let's face it, incredibly cute. Cody's growing library includes 130 stories with age-appropriate recommendations, 100 classic songs that make your kids move, and even a slow playlist for calming down or sleep. Plus, Cody can respond to simple questions designed just for kids. And parents can control and monitor all of this from the Cody app. Don't our children deserve the best in smart home technology in a package that's designed just for them? So join us in bringing Cody into every child's home. I've got a lot of songs and stories for us to hear. Let's get started. We've got some samples to pass out to y'all. So here you go, Robert. You can grab All right. monkey. Is this Lori's? Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> Lori. <laughs> Thank you. Kevin, we're going to give you this one here. <laughs> monkey. Thank you. Why do I get a monkey? <laughs> it might be a good idea to, to show a brief video of how Cody is actually getting used in a real family. OK. Near a deep, dark forest, not far from a tiny village. Got a plan to take a stand before a sticky situation gets out of hand. So close your eyes. Boys, it's time to come down for dinner. We are coming right down. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you did an awesome job cleaning up. See you later. I don't get the interactive piece. For example, in that video, uh, the boy was being congratulated for cleaning up. How does the child interact and get a conversation, a sociability back and forth? So the, 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 the parent would actually control through the app, and there'll be different steps for each habit. So it's time to start cleaning up. And whenever they're, whenever they're done with it, the, the mom or the dad could press the button, say they're done, and, and that's oh. when it gives so them the So they have the, to police uh, it. Exactly. And what's the age target for Cody? Children ages one to seven years old. What does Cody cost? It costs the customer $99.99 in retail, and the actual cost is $25.76 for us to manufacture. That's not bad. How many have you sold? We've sold approximately 2,500 units. Wow. We've done $260,000 in sales, selling on our own website and Amazon. We started selling in November of last year, and we started del our first deliveries to customers in December for the holidays. How are you getting it out there? Right now, we're primarily using direct advertising through Facebook and Instagram ads. Three million people have seen our ads already. We're roughly making a 10% margin, including customer acquisition costs as well. How do I get new stories? Is it free downloads? It's uh, no charge for all the content that we have on Cody right now. Uh, although by the end of this year, we do want to uh, test out a paid content model. What's your background? So I grew up with technology. I went to Stanford for my undergrad, and I joined a top social and mobile gaming company where I launched uh, products that reached millions of people. And I got my MBA from Warren afterwards, and I spent two years at the Boston Consulting Group. And that's where I really refined my business acumen, operations strategies. So you have no credibility is what you're saying. Uh, no, not at all, not at all. So um, basically a real slacker. <laughs> yeah, pretty, yeah, you know, I could do better, I could do better. Yeah, I mean, you know. And Chris and William. I went to Stanford with Dayu. Uh, I studied international relations and Chinese. After graduating from Stanford, I got into the toy industry. I've brought thousands of toys to market, from concept to shipment. I actually went to high school with Dayu, and after I graduated from UC Berkeley, I worked in international curriculum design, as well as education consulting. So as I was working with all those students, I saw there were gaps in their learning not just when it came to English or STEM subjects, but really when it came to social and emotional learning. So right after that, um, I decided to change careers and find where the roots of those gaps were, and I became a kindergarten teacher in Washington, D.C. for two years. Good for you. Uh -huh. So actually, on Sunday, I graduated from Stanford as well with Congrats. a master's in education. Thank you. This category is a 
very, very competitive. Because, Brutally competitive. I mean, if you could get a child to play with this for even 12 months, I'd be amazed. Because that, that, you don't have that data yet, Chris, right? my challenge with it is, like, if I took this home right now, my twins would absolutely adore it for two hours. I guess what I'm struggling with is, is the audio component of the content enough to continually stimulate uh, the kids? Because it visually, nothing changes. There's been a lot of research out there showing that a social robot, which is what this is, um, or some kind of you know smart toy device is more engaging than even animation sometimes in a TV. Parents have been telling us, this is amazing. My child hasn't used her tablet last week. My child is finally going to sleep by herself. But you guys know what your competition is, right? Amazon is always working on Alexa for kids, right? And you've seen some of it, I'm sure. That's your competition, and, and that's big companies competing with you. Now it's just a question of form factor. Four factor is really your only true differentiation, but other people are gonna come up with cute the minute they see that this is having the success it is. Now what happens to you? How do you guys compete with that? I would say other than the technology, we really have this human touch. So every interaction and every story you hear, hearing Cody is directly acted by a professional voice actor. We really want Cody or our products to be in every home. So retail is important. So you wanna be in Walmart, you wanna be Target, wherever. Exactly, and, and if we don't make money, that's fine. If you're gonna sell it at $99 retail, your margins drop like a rock. We already have a roadmap for cost reduction of 10 to 15% within the next year with no changes to the product. Hey, listen, you are brilliant guys. What worries me is the competition and the cost are brutal. I'm sorry, I'm out. Guys, I think you've done an amazing job from a product management perspective, but at the end of the day, I just worry that the kids are gonna get bored of the actual delivery platform, the hardware Cody. When you first came out, I thought it was super cute, but I gotta tell you what I thought. I thought that this was a screen, that the screen would oh. change. I worry about the interactivity with all the stimulus that kids have today with the iPad. I'm out. You have the right combination of brain power here to pull out a product like this and make it work. But I don't feel it's ever going to make money. And so for that reason, I, I am out. I love your execution. I'm still not sold on the scale. And you guys haven't convinced me. And so for those reasons, I'm out. I've often told people that if you've done something bad here on Earth, you go to hell and you work in the toy industry down there. That's what happens. No, it's not that bad. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Both Google and Amazon have product coming in this category. I think it's a slaughter fest. I mean, you guys are going into a battle from hell. I'm out. So next year, we're projecting $16 million in revenue. That's the sale of 240,000 Cody's. And but what did, changes? Why do you project that? Because that's pretty pie in the sky. And yes, it is. Why would, you, it why is would an, you say that after every shark is out? That's it is an extremely figure. ambitious goal, but we're an ambitious company. So but Chris, how are you going to fund that? Like, like the amount of inventory and cost to do that. Sure. So we, I have a very good relationship with our manufacturer. They're actually our biggest investor in our company. And so our incentives are highly aligned. I'd like to start as a direct import program. And we would be getting POs then directly from these retailers. And I would be servicing them as direct imports, selling straight to. Guys, it's too late. That's We're all interesting. Out. We're done. Yeah, guys. So you would, you would bring them in, and you would sell directly to them. Effectively, you're going to build the order. Yeah, so Mark, this is how you can help. You can help us with your connections. You can help us get into, accelerate these retail discussions. Guys, we've told you all the reasons it doesn't work, but I gotta tell you, every time we've given you a reason, you you have a good answer. A good answer. I don't no, know if you've I thought believe it through. Your That's answer. not the issue, right? And I don't really believe in the form factor, but man, you guys are great. I mean, it's like the dream team of toy product. Guys, it was very close, didn't happen. We wish you the best. We gotta turn around. Hang on! I'm back in. What? All sharks are out, but it seems Robert has had a change of heart about educational robot company Pillar Learning. I'll make you an offer. I'm back in. Go. What? I, I want to make an offer. There you I, go. I have no idea Who whether knew? it's going to work or not. I don't believe in the form factor, but I believe in you guys. I think you'll figure it out. I got to make an aggressive offer because I see it as a oh, huge yeah, risk. It's an all or nothing. <laughs>
I'll give you the 500,000 for 25 percent. Yowza! <laughs> you know what? Cody's freaking. So we want to make it fair for our investors as well, our current investors, and also obviously. You know we want some more equity skin in the game, so we continue to be motivated. So would you be okay with 15%? No. No, I, I, I got to tell you, man. Like, I... Well, well, well I, if we can I, meet in the middle. If we can meet in the middle, right, you know, just somewhere in the middle, give us something, and we can make it work. I, I like the end I'm at. I mean, seriously, I, I think I was out. It's an aggressive offer, absolutely, but it's a pure flyer. I've done well with these things before. It's 500,000 for 25%. It's what I feel comfortable with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how about 20%? No, no, it's 500,000 for 25%. I mean, you guys are the three owners. Talk amongst yeah. yourselves. <laughs> All right, Robert, you got a deal. Wow. Wow. All right. Wow. Thanks so much, Robert. Yeah. Thank you for being yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats, guys. Good job. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, well you so Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.